<clears throat> Can you hear me now? <laughs> Let's pretend that I, um, I didn't just spend the last two minutes uh, on mute. Um, sorry. <laughs> Oops. So as I was saying, as I was, I'm going to do it again. I was doing hello. So hi, Peachy Vibe. Hi, Lemon Cloud. Hi, Kiera, Beaner Blob, Eleni, Willow Sketchbook, The Unknown. Hi, Kiera. Hi, Joelle. Hi, Ludi. Hi, Amina. Oh, God. Now there's, there's, a, there's a me. Okay, gotcha. Okay, we're sorted. We got us now. Okay. Hi, Amina. <laughs> Hi, Suga Kukimon. Hi, Clean Girl Coco. Thanks for joining me. If, even if it's your first time catching me live. Thank you. All right. And I said, now let's go. Now let's go. So as I was saying, <laughs> this is my Sunday <laughs> vibe. I'm in my pajamas. I'm eating a cinnamon roll and I've got a cup of tea. Please let me know if the music is um, okay, the, the volume, if you can even hear it at all. Um, sorting out some kinks before we get started. Hello, everyone. Hope you're all doing okay. I'm just having a little snack with my tea. Mm. Hi, Gina. Mm-hmm. So, we don't have that much time until 4 o'clock. Um, oh, okay. Liz says that the sound and the music are all okay, so... Awesome. So, the thing is, you guys, the my little craft ammo paintbrushes are going live in about seven minutes on their website. And I'm very excited. I cannot wait for you guys to get your hands on them. So, I'm here, basically, to answer some of your questions um and basically any questions you might have before you want to you know purchase the set or just any questions you might have so just let me know if you have any questions about the set the collaboration the paintbrushes themselves and uh, basically after they go live i was just gonna do a little painting session a little demo with them i did answer a lot of questions um during the premiere of my video yet uh, not yesterday friday so um, I know that in the chat I replied to a lot of questions, but obviously I wanted to do a live stream that was a little bit more um, Q and A. <laughs> mm -hmm. You really said tea time. I do, Susukre. How was your day so far? Thank you for asking, Dina. My day's been really nice. I woke up, um, I slept in, which is really lovely. And then I've been playing Pokemon Violet all day, pretty much. <laughs> so it's been a very nice and relaxing day. Uh, Shauna asks, are the paintbrushes limited edition or will they stick around for the long run? Well, that depends entirely on how they go for the first run. So obviously if there's a lot of demand and there's a lot of people that didn't actually uh, get a set during the first time around, there will probably be a second uh, run for them. But the first batch is limited. so. Um, that's why I keep saying if you do really want a set, I would recommend getting one um, ASAP as soon as they go live because um, we can't really be sure if there will be a second run for them. But I really hope that there is. <laughs> Can you use any paints with them? I would say yes because I've used, let's see, sorry about all the eating ASMR, I'm just really enjoying my cinnamon roll. Um, I've used acrylics, watercolors, inks. Uh, gouache. So I've used all those four and I'm going to be using watercolors today with them. Um, and I know zero problems with any of these um, materials, any of the mediums. I think they work absolutely perfect with all of them. Uh, I will say that obviously they work a little bit uh, better if you're working on smaller scale just because the, the biggest size starts off as a, um, a size 10 filbert brush um hold up i'll open them up in a second hold on let me just finish my cinnamon roll <laughs> i'm very prepared for this stream as you can see hmm. Hmm. i just got your sketchbook from archer and olive mm, thank you 
Jazzy Lux. I hope you enjoy it. Mmm, mmm. How is the weather there, Tito's? It is very cold. It snowed yesterday and the day before that. And um, our house is very cold. <laughs> but it's really nice. Um. Hi, everyone. Still popping in. Hello. Mm. Okay. I've been in my cinema roll. So. I'm going to switch over so I can show you guys the paintbrushes and answer any more questions. And also, I will stop chewing. I'm so sorry. <laughs> So here they are. Uh, these are the. Oh no, it had a bit of cinnamon roll on it. God, I'm a mess. I'm sorry, you guys. This is my set, though. I'm. I can assure you that all the ones you buy will not have remnants of cinnamon roll butter on them. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this is the set. Um, it comes in this really pretty, pr pretty box. And um, yeah, it's all the illustrations done by me. I actually did a live stream a few months back designing these live. So um, you guys can find that live stream on my YouTube channel to rewatch it if you if you want. So uh, you can actually watch me design this with watercolors and the actual paintbrushes inside. And um, yeah, once you open it, you get this really cute inside section. And there is a card over here. Uh, with the care instructions on the back with uh, like basically how to take care of the brushes and any info that you might need on the craft demo website and I think it's really cute because you can actually kind of use this as a print as well if you'd like because um, it's just the illustration from the box um, on a really nice print paper uh, so these are the paint brushes as you can see and there, there's a really nice range of them over here. Oh, and if anyone's counting, they are going live in two minutes, okay? Two minutes, two minutes. And because of lag, it might be one minute. So the link is in the, at the top of the description of the live stream if you would like to be one of the first to buy the set. Um, as I said earlier, it is a limited supply for the first run um, and the second one is never really guaranteed. So make sure you snag a set if you really want one. Um, Oh yeah, Craft Tamo's in the chat making sure that you guys know how long to, to, to wait until it's live. So these are the paintbrushes. I'm just gonna get them out so I can show you them in more detail. So, here are the paintbrushes. You get a really nice range of sizes and because you guys know I love a good detail paintbrush. There's some really nice tiny little paintbrush sizes in here. Um, some of these, um, they look a bit used just because I used them yesterday and I didn't let them dry uh, quite well enough. But yeah, so you get a number 10 filbert brush and then you get two flat brushes in a size seven and three. And then you also get some round brushes in an assortment of sizes in a size 9, 4, 1, and 0. So here they all are together. Uh, they have this really beautiful like ombre on the brushes uh, with this lavender color. And yeah, I'm just really, really happy with how they came out. I just think they match the packaging and just my whole aesthetic really well. So yeah, I'm really happy with them. And I really hope that you guys like them as well. Um, and yeah. I'm gonna actually be doing a little demo with them right now. So, um, I didn't even prep a drawing or anything. I'm just kind of going. So let's do a quick little sketcheroo. Let's use this pencil really quick. Uh, where did I leave everything? Here we go. I just need a pencil. Here we go. This will be fine. So again, if there are any more questions that you have about the um, the paintbrush themselves, uh, please let me know in the chat and I'll do my best to answer all of them. Oh, 
and the paintbrushes just went live, you guys. So if you want to get a set, head on over to the link at the top of the description of the video to um, go snack a set. I'm really, really excited. I'm really excited, you guys. Oh my god, this is so crazy that it's finally... Why is your setup dark? Oh, because it's like nighttime. <laughs> and um, yeah, I don't really have much of a a good streaming setup. Sorry. I'll see. Let me see what I can do. Hold on. Let's see. If I can... Ooh! Shauna caught some. Oh my god, thank you, Shauna. I really, really hope you like them. Oh, so exciting. <laughs> that is very exciting. It is quite dark, isn't it? I'm trying to make it a bit better, but there's only so so much I can do. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, I'm playing around with the filters on my face and it's something. Um, right. So, is that a bit better? Hold on. Is this a bit better? Okay, let's go with this. Is this a bit better for my setup? It's, it's, I think it's the best I can do. Um, yeah. I'm really sorry to people who can't get them in their, um, particular country. Um, yeah, I think there, it's something to do with, like, shipping laws, uh, because they are, um, they've shipped through Craft Ammo themselves, and obviously not through me, um, as this is, like, a collaboration with them. So, yeah, I'm really sorry, you guys. Um, Dina, I'm not sure if you can get them in Dubai. You might have to um, check on Craft Thomas website where what countries they do ship to. Um, but uh, hold on, yeah. Try and tag Craft Thomas in the chat, and if not, try and check on their website because they should should have somewhere where you can um, see if you can get them in Dubai. <laughs> Hey Papa, just wanted to say your art um, selling slash merch videos have been I dipped my toes into tabling at fairs and markets. Thank you. Oh my god, no, thank you, Funmi. I'm so happy that they were helpful. Oh, apparently Craft Tom was saying that they are available worldwide, so definitely make sure to um, make sure make sure to have a look, yeah, and um, it's always worth checking. Just got my order. Oh nice, thank you, Tranquilva! Thank you. Thank you, Lenny Pertuch. Oh, I'm so excited, you guys. I've been working on this project for a while now, so it's just really surreal uh, seeing it go live and seeing some of you actually purchase them. I cannot wait to see some of you using them. If and when you guys get them, like, do make sure to send a picture um, to me so I can see you guys using them. I'm so excited. I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit here for you guys. Hold on, how do I, there we go. Here we go. There she is. I'm gonna put the paintbrushes up here. Grab this set, thank you so much, Tina. Thank you so much. Oh, nice. Thanks, Michelle. I'm glad it's a bit better. Um, again, sorry the quality isn't great, but I, I did, like, have some technical issues um, trying to set up the stream. I, <laughs> I wasn't very prepared, and I was also eating a cinnamon roll. I'm so sorry. 
but hopefully this is okay. And I'm sorry if like my forehead blinds you with the reflection of the light, but uh, we do what we can. <laughs> So I'm just doing a quick sketch here um, so I can actually start using the paintbrushes. Um, so. Just gonna do a quick sketcheroo here. And Here we go. I'm happy with this. There. I'm happy with that. I'm going to give it a quick trim. Actually, no, I'm going to use that extra paper on the side as a palette. So, um, today I'm using my Paul Rubens watercolors actually because I haven't used them in a while. Um, and uh, because I used inks in my last video um, when I was showing you guys like a, a bigger demo with the paintbrushes, um, I thought I'd do a different medium this time around. Um, I mentioned earlier in the video that I do, I have used like wa watercolors, acrylics, gouache, colored inks, India inks, like I've used the whole shebang and I've had a wonderful time using these um, on all of those. So. If you are wondering if there is any issue with any um, mediums, there really isn't. It's just, it's lovely. <laughs> and I'm gonna just turn on the big light at the top. So give me one moment. Ooh. Hmm. Oh. Okay, I will paint at some point, I promise. <laughs> okay, so, grab the set, thank you guys so much. I'm also drawing and having an amazing time, thank you Piper. No, thank you for joining me in painting. So, let's begin actually using my wonderful paintbrushes. Again, if you'd like a bigger, longer, more in-depth video of me using my uh, my paintbrushes and the whole shebang about the the launch, there is a, a a video that went up two days ago on my channel that uh, goes through all the details. But yeah, here we go. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's bad. Do you have any tips uh, for sketching with colored pencils? Um, I actually am filming, working on a whole video about that this week, so... Ooh. But um, I think my main tip is always to be very light-handed at first, because you can always build up color and stuff as you go along, but being light-handed allows you to make less mistakes, I guess, and helps you um, just be a little bit more careful, I guess. Careful is not exactly the right word, but I hope I hope that makes sense. What's your favorite medium to draw with? Ooh, I'd say at the moment I'm very into using colored pencils and like water-based mediums, so either inks or with the uh, color pencils or watercolors like I'm using here. 
Um, I am a big fan of like doing mixed media. So anything where I can mix and match <laughs> and, and like ma mix around um, textures, that's usually my jam. So. <clears throat> Again, for anyone that might be joining in right now, the these paintbrushes that I'm using um, are actually live to buy on the Craft Ammo website right now. So um, you can check out the link at the top of the the live stream uh, in the description to maybe snag a set if you'd like. Um, you have a great pencil sharpener. Did you say where you got it? Um, I actually got it from Artful Boutique. Um, they sent it to me as like, um, like a gift, uh, which is really nice, but I have, uh, the link is in a video that I posted about two weeks ago where I show you guys my favorite art supplies. So if you want the link, it'll be in the description box of that video. Ooh. I am... Do you know how much I'm like fighting the urge of not putting my paintbrush in my tea? I'm, I'm gonna move them because I feel like this is more natural than doing this. I've been wronged one too many times. <laughs> I've, uh, yeah, I've ruined one too many teas, so. You know what, let's give her some purple hair to match the vibe of the paintbrush set. Um, Michelle asks, what time is it over there? Um, it is quarter past 4 p.m. over here. And yes, I know it's very dark, but so so is England um, at around 3 p.m. So <laughs> it gets really dark, like at 3.30, 4 p.m. It's really annoying, um, but it, that's, that's England. <laughs> so I like that um, so I was using for all those flat washes I was using the number 10 filbert brush that comes in the set um, <laughs> and uh, your nail designs are really cute by the way <gasps> thank you clean girl Coco I did them myself it's just uh, like some sparkly confetti um, glitter and I did some little stars of course if you know me you know, I love some, some stars. So now I'm going to go in with the number nine round brush to start adding in all the, uh, the shadows. And I really like using this brush for the shadows because you can simultaneously fill in quite large areas. Um, and, but then it also has like a nice thin, tiny tip that you can make little little areas with and add some detailing so it's just a really versatile brush and once you get the hang of you know the different pressures um with the paintbrush you will really like it's gonna be your favorite as well i, I promise you that much it's just a, a nice good time
So I'm slowly just going in and adding sort of the first pass of the shadows with a slightly more saturated brush with watercolor on it and um are these nails with gel yes i did them with gel polish aren't they cute they're very very nice um it's really therapeutic for me doing my nails so uh whenever i'm really stressed i just do my nails <laughs> so that's why they always have like different designs all the time <laughs> Um, I just purchased the brushes. Can't wait to receive them. Oh, thank you so much, Layla. Thank you. I'm so excited for you. Would you ever do a body tutorial? Yes, I would definitely would love to, but, um, I'm still, I still feel like I'm not that, um, good at it. Like, not good enough to feel confident in giving a full tutorial on YouTube about it, so... Just know that one, that once I do feel like I have the confidence to do it. I'll either do a YouTube video or post a whole tutorial on my Patreon because that's usually where I'll post tutorials at the moment. Um, so that's why I haven't really posted a tutorial on uh, like anatomy and and the human body and stuff. It's just because I, I, again, I just don't feel comfortable yet um, teaching other people how to do it because I don't feel like I'm good enough at doing it yet. Ooh, Layla, your pressure brushes will be on the way tomorrow. Oh my goodness, that's so exciting. <gasps> I'm so excited for people to get their brushes. Honestly, it's such a cute experience opening up this box. I was like, I was really excited and like I designed them and I was like, do you ever paint with gouache? Yes, I do, Zoe. Um, I do paint with gouache quite a lot. Um, I have a few videos on my channel where I paint with gouache. Um, I... Just, I, yeah, I really enjoy them. I just, today felt like it was a watercolor day, you know? So while that's drying, uh, this layer, I'm gonna do the same thing with my number 10 round brush and adding in the shadows on her hair and the darker areas. And also adding in some little curly hairs over here because now that I have this more detail paintbrush I can actually add in all these little little curly bits at the on the outside which is like my favorite bit when drawing hair is drawing all these like stray hairs Do you do your nails by yourself? I do, Michelle. I really, I do, and I really like it. I really enjoy doing it. Um, it's like a very therapeutic activity for me. Um, thank you to everyone who's purchased so far. They're a great Christmas present, aren't they? Yes, Craft Ammo, they really are. Um, I'm actually like so happy that they ended up being released around this time of year because uh, like, there was nothing that you could get that was better for me at Christmas growing up than art supplies. Like, that was just... I was always a happy kid when I got art supplies for Christmas. So, I don't know. If you have, like, a friend or a family member who is, like, artistically inclined, um, I think these paintbrushes are, like, a really lovely set 
to give them as a gift because as I said in the uh, launch video, I think that they're very beginner friendly. So even if you feel like you're not um, that well versed in water mediums or, uh, you know, just any painting, I think that these are a very good set to, to have when you're still, you know, starting off. So your hair looks so nice. Thank you, Michelle. It really needs to be sorted out today because um, I had it up for a party yesterday and it's a bit meh, but thank you. <laughs> um, hi, Layla's. Um, who are some of your favorite artists? Ooh, um, I'd say that um, some of my all time favorite artists are like Botticelli and Caravaggio and, uh, you know, the those really nice sort of rococo like artists from the renaissance times but i feel like some current ones um uh, on instagram especially i love alba gg um so much i've really been obsessed with her work lately um who else i'm so bad at knowing artists by name on instagram honestly i'm terrible um yeah i'm really bad oh my goodness Obviously, you know, I, I like all the big ones like Serene and Sibylline, uh, Fifal, um, yeah, just that kind of, that kind of stuff. So, for her eyes, I don't know what color to do them. Does anyone have an idea of what we should do? For the eye color because i don't know <laughs> while um while you guys think of some ideas i'm gonna um do some blushing on her face actually so i just get a very watered down red likes pinky red color on the brush and I just lightly do a wash of that over the areas where it would usually need blushing um so mainly around like her cheeks her nose and the tips of her ears and then I'm just going to use that same color to do a wash over the lips as well Um, amber eyes, green eyes, mmm, I like all these. I was thinking more of a like an amber greenish color because I think that would go well with the purple. So, yeah. Also, I just realized the uh, because I started adding color to the painting, um, the color correction on the video has gone a bit off, so <laughs> I'm just gonna fix that a little bit. Um... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Do this a bit better. fine I think this is a bit better cool sorry guys um got distracted doing some color correction but uh yeah amber to contrast the hair is a good idea right some people are saying monochromatic would be cool that is also true that is also true. So are we thinking amber or purple to match the hair? What are we thinking? Hmm?
And while you're deciding, I'm actually going to switch over to the number four round brush. <laughs> Thank you so much, Michelle. That's so sweet. Yes, you're very nice at compliments. I feel very um, flattered. Thank you. Ooh, it's... <sighs> We're getting more purples. We're getting more purples currently. I'm ooh, tied again. It's tied. Mm. I think I think I'm gonna go for amber, just because I think it would do, and it'd be nice to put a different color in here. What is your favorite place to go on vacation? Mm. Probably back home, if I'm honest. I really like going home for a holiday because um, I live in Portugal originally, so it's just a really nice destination <laughs> holiday. Um, so yeah, very lucky. Just ordered your brush are coming to Brazil. Oh my God, thank you, Hachiko. I'm so excited for you. Thank you so much for supporting the uh, the project thank you i really hope you love them so i'm gonna add a light wash of this amber color first on the eyes and while that dries I'm gonna keep adding some shadows to the hairs and the face and basically just keep darkening any areas that need darkening and that's basically how I work with watercolors is just slowly but surely adding more more layers some shadows here near her hairline some there Oh yeah, and then I'll also probably, while I'm here, add some base color to her eyebrows. Because then I'll go in later with one of my fine uh, brushes to add in the hairs. Right, so while I wait for this layer to dry, um, if you guys have any questions or anything you'd like me to talk about, um, lay it down in the chat. Um, off topic, but you have the best curls. Oh, thank you, Suga Cookie Moon. <laughs> what products do you use? Um, I use mainly, I use kind of a variety of them just because I like to try new products here and there, but something that is like, one, a, a brand that I really love is um, Only Curls. Um, they're like a small business from London and they have really, really good curly hair products. But another brand that I really like is Shea Moisture. Um, Curl Smith is also really nice, but it's quite expensive. So I get them more as a treat. Um, but yeah, Only Curls is usually my go-to. 
Just wanted to say that watching, just wanted to say watching your channel this year has brought me so much joy and inspiration to get back into drawing characters and playing with new mediums. That's so sweet. Thank you so much, Kenzie. That really warms my heart. I'm really glad. É um prazer apoiar uma artista como você. Muito obrigada, Hachiko. Um beijinho. How are you so good at art? Well, Kiki, um, I've been doing this since I was 11. Um, and yeah, just a lot of practice and doing it just almost every day. Um, that's usually how, uh, that's usually the advice I give to people. Oh my God, hi, first stream. Hi, Mocha. It's 2 a.m. here, but I've been switching between working on new art and playing video games. Oh my God, 2 a.m. <laughs> well, thank you for joining. Um, I hope you enjoyed the stream. Can we get a digital blending tutorial? I don't actually blend on, on uh, digital mediums at all. That's why, probably why I haven't done um, a blending tutorial yet. Just because I, uh, I don't use the blending tool at all. I, um, I, I like to do all my uh, sort of color gradients and blending with the brushes themselves. Um, can you tell us about art apps which you would like to use in Android? I don't have an Android, so I have, would literally be of no use <laughs> telling you what uh, apps are good for drawing because I have no idea what's available on Android. Um, hi, any tips you can say to beginners at art? A great question, Anareth, Araneth, sorry. Um, I'd say that, again, the, the usual advice that I give to people is um, to just keep doing it every single day and to um, not be your harshest critic and not, not comparing yourself to other artists online because um, they are at a completely, they're probably at a completely different stage to where you are at right now. So uh, you can't be comparing yourself to other art you see out there because everyone's gone through the stage of doing drawings they don't like and doing drawings that aren't at the status that they would want them to be. So you really just got to keep pushing yourself for yourself and not for uh, getting your art to look like someone else's because um, the main thing that makes your art special is that it's your art and not someone else's. So yeah, just don't try not comparing yourself or comparing the art you're making with someone else because you don't know how long they've been doing it for, and uh, you don't know like what at what stage in their art process there are they are. So, um, I'm new to your channel. Congratulations on the brush collection, and I absolutely love your work. Thank you so much, Diva Diva W. Um, I'm so, so happy. Thank you so much and welcome to the channel. Um, how do you get inspiration for your art? Mm. I find a lot of inspiration in um, just people that I see out on the street and um, just, I like, I don't know, I just, I love people watching. Um, so I feel like I, uh, I take inspiration just from what I see outside when I go outside and, you know, people and places and, atmospheres so I feel like that's usually where I get most of my inspiration from and also Pinterest when I don't leave the house for like a week <laughs> um, how do you get over art blog hmm so I have a whole video on this on my YouTube channel if you want like a more in-depth um, video about this topic but I feel like with art block it's a uh, it's very hit and miss with you either gotta take a few days off to reset your creative brain um and then when you do feel like coming back to art um you gotta get through all of these like i always call them like the, the rough patch paintings so you gotta kind of draw through those to get to the good the good feeling drawings um i feel like uh it's very easy to give up right at the beginning when you're doing drawing and you haven't drawn in a while um so just push through it i think is the best um Thing that I can say and having a really messy sketchbook um, where you can have the freedom to do that is always a really good idea because if you are constantly struggling to um, get into your sketchbook because you don't want to ruin it or you don't feel like you're gonna do good art in it having a messy sketchbook just for that is usually um, really helpful because it takes a lot of the pressure off um, 
Apart from your little sister, do you have any other siblings? I do. I have an older sister as well. Um, you might have covered this already, but what's a good way to create shadow tones when doing faces? I'd say that the best way is to identify your light source to begin with, and then um, basically identifying which areas would be uh, getting hit by that light source and which areas would be casting shadows on the face and then adding uh, shadows to the areas that would be um, in shadow. Um, Dogga Arabul, hi, I have trouble creating the right proportions in my drawings. Do you have any tips? Definitely drawing from reference a lot. Um, drawing as many things you can from reference, whether it's from Pinterest or from life or at a coffee shop, because the more you draw the human face, the more uh, second nature it becomes to you, drawing out proportions. It just, it just comes to you like this. So it's all about practice and doing as many portrait drawings as you can. Like, like every day I'd say try to draw five to six portraits or something if you have the time. Obviously, if you just want to draw one a day, that's also absolutely fine. But just basically putting it in your routine to draw portraits will really help in the end of the day. So I think this is mainly dry. So I'm going to go back in with uh, this Actually, no, I'm going to go in with a uh, one of the detailed paintbrushes. I'm going in with number one, the round number one paintbrush, which is really tiny and small. And I'm going to start adding in some of the tinier details into the face and making it really come together. This is some of my favorite parts of painting is adding in these little details because it's like when the painting starts making sense. So. Which art medium did you start with, Pipa? Um, I actually started with acrylics and graphite pencils. That's how I uh, learned how to draw uh, in first. And I was doing a lot of, you know, drawing from life and practicing portraiture and basically learning about highlights and shadows and the 3D um space and uh how lighting works with different shapes and things and um how different shapes shapes behave with each other 
and I mainly learned that with acrylics, and acrylic paints and graphite pencils. So that was the first medium I ever learned. And then that I also did a lot of like sculpture as well to begin with, um, just because um, my art teacher at the time um, was saying like uh, sculpture is a really nice way to help you learn the 3D um, space and it, it just really helps the brain start to understand the, uh, the three-dimensionality of different shapes and how they look like from different angles um, which I agree they were very very helpful and I really enjoyed like I really also always enjoy doing things with my hands so sculpture was really fun Okay. So I'm gonna let that dry. Apparently I just sprinkled a bunch of paint on there. Oops. <clears throat> Are all your recent tutorials part of the Watermelon tier on Patreon? Um, no, they're available for my um, Peach tier as well. So if you are part of the peach tier and up, you get access to like any tutorials that I post on there or any like drawing breakdowns, step, step by steps and things like that. And also exclusive Patreon videos. You, you get those as a, a peach tier as well. Um, basically the only thing exclusive to watermelon tiers is the melon mail. So the uh, print and sticker that you get every month, everything else is um, usually a part of the peach tier as well. Mm. I'm currently working on a digital illustration with a crowded background and a character and a ghost and it is tough. How do you stay motivated to color and shade everything? It's so overwhelming. It is definitely overwhelming. It can be very overwhelming to begin with. I'd say that um, trying to isolate different um, either characters or elements and working through those um, separately and also not giving yourself too much of a, uh, a limited time frame. So if you do feel like you need to work on this for like a day or two extra, like that's absolutely fine. Like take it into stages and work on it like over a few weeks um, because it's, it's absolutely fine to do that. And basically saying, okay, today I'm gonna render out the ghost and then tomorrow I'm gonna render out the character. And then the day after I'm gonna re uh, render out like the top corner of this, of the background and just taking it in stages usually is the best, um, the best approach to it, I think. Um, okay. So now that that is drying, I'm going to do pretty much the same thing with the hair and add in all the uh, darker areas of the hair.
And I'm then gonna take my number zero brush to add in those little eyebrow hair details. Um, And I think I'm pretty happy with the watercolor part of the, uh, the painting so far. I'm just gonna finish it off with some bits here. And then I think I'm gonna switch over to pencils. <laughs> And I've recently just been using these, uh, the Artix colored pencils. There is a full video going up on the channel uh, the next week? Next week. So don't worry, it is happening. Um, that's gonna be on the channel very soon. But these are... Uh, are you gonna do a bullet journal for 2023? Yes, I am and I'm filming that next week So it should be on the channel in about two or three weeks um, How come your watercolor doesn't spread off? It, it does <laughs> if I zoomed in a little bit You would see that I didn't let each layer dry as much as I usually would just because of the sake of the live stream um, But I think it's about letting each layer dry completely and that way it'll help with um, bleeding um, so I'm just getting some of the colors that I'm going to use out. <laughs> and, hmm. So I just got a few different colors out to do um, sort of the like finishing line art and things like that. Again, the layers aren't as dry as I ideally would have liked them to be, but for the sake of the stream, I'm going to power through it just to give you guys more of a like a finished piece to look at.
<clears throat> hey Piper, thanks for bringing joy to my day and inspiring me making, uh, to make something. I had a great time watching. Bye. Bye, Mina. Thanks for joining. It's crazy how I started watching your videos since I was in high school and now I'm already in my third year in college. Your videos really keep me motivated. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you so much, The Unknown. That's awesome. Thank you so much for all the support along the years. Um, that's really cute. Thank you. I feel a bit crazy. I'm gonna give her some little hearts on her cheeks. Just to match the the color of her lips to something in the drawing. I just think it'd be cute. Cute! think that I'm getting close to finishing slash just being happy with how it looks Okay, so I'm pretty happy with how it looks. Um, I think I'm going to end the uh, the stream here, I guess. Um, let me just put these over here. Cool. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna end the stream right about now. Um, again, 
I want to stress that this uh, set of paintbrushes is not um, unlimited. So there is a limited batch for the first run. So they are available to purchase right now on the Craft Dama website. So if you guys click the link at the top of the description box of the uh, live stream, please make sure to get a set if you really want one because um, they are a limited supply. <laughs> and um, I'm very, very excited for um, everyone who's already got a set to like get theirs. I'm just, I'm really excited for you guys to use them because I have been using these for everything um, recently and they're just so, so lovely. And they're just, they're just awesome. And um, I feel very, very grateful that you guys are um, supporting me in this uh, really cool uh, collab. Thank you so much. Um, I'm just really, really grateful for you guys. So. Thank you, and also thank you for joining us as well. Um, I know it's a, qu a nice, quick, and short uh, stream, but um, I hope it was still nice for you guys. Um, yeah, thank you so, so much again. Um, make sure to check out the collaboration for these paintbrushes downstairs, downstairs, you know, down in the description. And yeah, I'll see you guys for a new video here on the channel uh, on Wednesday. So yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. I hope everyone has a lovely rest of their Sundays. Bye.